This week's Toy Talk Friday is made possible by awesome people like 2bitrobot.co.uk, GaryRozanski.com, ToyTerror.com, Lionel.co.uk and AppleTiger.com. Check out their links below as well as all the links from this week's show. <music> Greatest Toy Fans, it's Toy Talk Friday, a fortnightly show where we talk about the latest toy news and stuff that's interesting to me. Two big shows a month and two little shows throughout the week, so stay tuned for those. Let's start off this week's show by talking about Frank Kozik and Big Shot Toy Works. He's working on something called the Colonel Kentucky Fried. No information on price and size looking at this information, but I'm really liking the pictures. I love the one where it's the chicken's head holding the KFC guy's head. I can't remember. The Colonel, whatever his name is. Yeah, that's really cool. Let's get away from the dunny, shall we, Frank? Because you're clearly a talented artist. Um, when I know more information on this, I shall let you know. I'm going to go out on a limb and say it's going to be like $150, $100. I'd like it to be just like a 3-inch or 6-inch piece that's $40 to $50, but it's Frank Kozik, so it might command more. No information on what kind of materials, maybe resin, maybe vinyl. Frank Kozik could do like something with, in his home studio out of resin. I don't see why that's not possible, but I imagine the prices are going to be kind of crazy. Sucks, because I'd love to own one. I really like the looks of it. What do you guys think? Okay, next up, something I mentioned on Toy Talk Friday like a billion years ago. The Bartholomew Punchy Face, a collaboration between Scott Tolson and Luke Jew. Links below to a little stranger store where you can pick these up. £30 a piece or £75 for all three of them. There's the green red, the green and the yellow. All great colorways in my opinion. The green red's my personal favorite. There's no limited availability on these, so get them while you can. The stock might be low. Uh, but yeah, I'm really digging these and I'm wondering if there's going to be more artist collaborations on new plushes, perhaps. I'd kind of like to see a John Paul Kaiser Macbeth combo. I imagine that would be pretty sweet. Okay, next up, let's give a quick shout out to the Art Pass Series 5 by Lunatic Jones and his fellow artist chums. These are £2.99, available from Lunatic Store below and I imagine from the artist stores. Uh, links below to Matt Jones's website. Um, he donated three of them. There'll be a review and a giveaway soon, so stay tuned for that. <clears throat> and yeah, it's containing such artists as Jim Woodring, Matt Jones, Simone Legno, Uda Pop, Sarah and Den, John Bergerman, Billy Pablo Ayentili, I'm so sorry I screwed your name up, Unplugged, Jeff Lamb, and this one's my favourite so far. A lot of people, when I mentioned the giveaway, wanted this one, so I might give this one away and buy one myself from Matt's store. £2.99 is a bargain, go check these out, links below. And yeah, stay tuned for the review, which will be up Monday or Tuesday. Not too sure yet. And while we're on the subject of great artists, let's give a quick mention to T-Con, shall we? You might recognise the dinosaur it was from the mascot from ToyCon last year. Hopefully it's going to be the ToyCon mascot next year so I can try and buy one of these. They're doing the very first custom show of this little guy and it's looking like a pretty cool lineup. Artists such as Lisa Ray Hansen, Luke Chu, Map Map, JPK, Gary Ham, Drill One, Umi Toys... Scott Tolson, Run DMV, Triclops, Kerry Dyer, Goto San, Chris Ross, Bloodpus, Brian Flynn, the list is endless. Check out the link below for all the information on this. It's going to be held in London at the Fleet River Gap Bakery. And yeah, this is going to be a pretty amazing show. Unfortunately, I can't make it. But check out the link below if you can because you don't want to miss this. I've seen some of the previews from artists on Facebook and it's going to be a pretty damn sweet show. If you want information on how to buy some of these and you want to get all the information, drop them an email at preview at toyconuk.com and hopefully you'll be able to pick some of these up and I envy you because I imagine some of these are going to look absolutely amazing. Just noticed Paul Kaiju as well and Pete Fowler. God, the list is amazing. So if, if this is going to be one of those shows you need to get to this year. So link below, guys. Come on, get to this. Sucks that I'm so far away from London because it would have been cool, but unfortunately I'm busy and... Damn you, London, for being so far away. Okay, let's end this week's show by giving a little mention to Kid Robot because, wow, Jesus, it's like watching a train wreck. Um, first of all, I don't like to be critical of artists and stuff often because it sucks and it breaks my heart, but Kid Robot's just kind of lost their way, in my opinion. Um, they seem to be squeezing the ever-loving daylight outside that Simpsons franchise. We have a new Homer 8-inch, by the way, don't expect pictures because I cannot be fucked to even edit that shit in. Just go fucking Google it or something. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, there's a new Dunny series-ish series to do with the Simpsons Trials of Horrors. And mm, yeah, that's how I feel. 
when I can't even be bothered to put a few images to show you these things, that's when you know, you know, it's not exciting anymore. I, I've kind of, I miss the days where you'd you'd get an email about the new Kid Robot updates and you'd be really excited and you'd read it and you'd be looking forward to going to the events and stuff and now it's just like, oh, okay. Yeah, that sucks. A um, little bit of good news, although I've seen some pictures that were on one of the toy groups and might not be so good. The Kid Robot Evolved Dunny series. Uh, each Dunny Evolved is a three-man lineup, three stages of evolution by three, um, five artists, Frank Ozick, Macbeth, Crunk, Hogsgy, and Scott Tolson. And here's the preview picture that they've done. Uh, yeah, I like the idea of this. And by the idea, I mean the idea of having Frank Ozick, Macbeth, Crunk do the evolution stage of a Dunny. Great idea. My problem... It's not a box set for a start, which absolutely blows, because you're going to be buying a lot of these blind boxes to try and complete this set. And I imagine you're just going to... To me, it feels like Kid Robot is going to be a massive douche and make the Dunny version rare, or the middle one rare, and you're just going to get loads of the first stage or loads of the last stage. And that, that if that's what's going to happen, fuck Kid Robot, because that will blow a fat one. I don't know why they just didn't do it as a really cool box set. They did it with the... Um, street fighter series where they had the dunny in the box and then you got a mystery one next to it I, d I don't see why they just can't do a box set of all three designs neatly boxed would have been pretty cool uh i'm looking forward to the mcbest one the mcbest one is probably the only one i'm super hyped for because i'm really digging his style at the moment um the last thing i want to say is why wasn't it different sizes i think it would have been even amazing if it was a three inch then a I don't know, 5 inch and then an 8 inch, you know, just so it gets bigger and bigger and bigger. It would have been pretty cool on a shelf looking like that, but to just have them all the same size looks kind of dull, looks kind of boring, which kind of sucks, but that's Kid Robot. They appear to be squeezing the ever loving franchise thing and I'm kind of disappointed because I really want to like Kid Robot. They got me into the toy scene and yeah, it sucks. Anyway, guys. I guess that's another question I want to ask you. What do you think of Kid Robot and what do you think of these new franchises with The Simpsons and all of these releases they're churning out? Good? Bad? Are you looking forward to them? Are you not? Let me know in the comments below and maybe we'll organise a Google Hangout at some point. We can get some toy peeps in. Some of you guys can join in and we can just have a big old chat about Kid Robot. It's be awesome and I imagine I'm just going to get drunk and rage a bit but I don't know. Anyway, that's Toy Talk Friday for the 13th of whatever month it is. Let me just have a look. So that's Toy Talk Friday for the 13th of September. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Check out the link for all the sponsors who made this show possible below. And some of the sponsors didn't want to add images to the start. So massive thanks to you guys. Again, I really love you all. And all the viewers, subscribers and stuff, you're all amazing. Thanks for making this possible. We'll see you next week. And don't forget the Art Pass review will be up soon. All the links for this week's show below as well are... I'm off to go do some band duties. I'll see you later. Bye. This week's Toy Talk Friday is made possible by awesome people like 2bitrobot.co.uk, GaryRozanski.com, ToyTerror.com, Lionel.co.uk, and AppleTiger.com. Check out their links below as well as all the links from this week's show.